All right, we are here with uh, an another game here. Uh, introduce yourself. Here at OKG, and uh, my name is Tyler Stauffer, and my brother right beside me, Nathan Stauffer, uh, CTX Rain, and I'm CTX Iron. We'll be uh, commentating this uh, game for you. Seems like uh, the competition is going to be fierce, trying to get out of the loser bracket, trying to get up to the top. Uh, this will be a very interesting game. It seems like we got some high rollers, some high low pay players playing against each other, and we got first pick uh, Warwick going down. Yeah, the bands were very, very quick. There was like Lee Sin, Galio, uh, Shavana, Varys, Shen, and Shaco. Shen and Shaco are obviously really standard bands. Galio, he he's not really banned. He's actually rarely banned that I see. Varys, I ha I've never really seen him really play, so I don't know his. It definitely his, his seems really like his uh, Galio and uh, Galio uh, and Varys are possibly uh, um, just uh, target bands that are going on from previous yeah, games. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Ooh, a and Graves and Leona, very uh, a kill lane. And we'll see how that um, unfolds in the game. Yep. First pick Warwick. Uh, usually he is banned, but since he wasn't, it's like, okay, I'll just uh, play Warwick. He is a really good. He is. His jungling's pretty good right now. His top is pretty good. His top uh, is his much better. Um, the percentage damage he does uh, is uh, ridiculous. Uh, Warwick gets to critical mass about level nine. Most tops can't deal with the sustain. He just outdoes yeah, uh, with his tops. Q. And then his alt is so good for ganks as well. Totally. Uh, what Warwick will do, if, especially when he's ahead of his lane, which he usually gets uh, to level nine, and he'll just come and gank mid. All his alts. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't care about his top. He just comes mid and ganks, and mid just cries and goes boohoo. Yeah, <laughs> boo boohoo. I have six ways entrances, gank ways in my lane. <laughs> Definitely. And then we got a sauna going on. Uh, that's a little bit aggressive too. The get some poke out. Uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult to get poke out against Leona because so if you open yourself up with Sana, he, she can just jump on and punish you. Yeah, yeah. I'm expecting to see maybe a Tristana because Sona. Ooh, oh, Ash. Ash. Well, definitely uh, a very interesting lane. Yes, uh, Sona Ash. They have the advantage. Uh, they kind of have the like the early game advantage. I would say just because they can get that level two quicker if they do the double golems first. That is, yeah, that is if true. they do Rondo. that, they can get that level two before uh, uh, Leona, Leona and Graves, and they can really initiate a fight and come out on top. Yeah, there's definitely Sona, a lot of follow up, a lot yeah. of CC. That's why I was thinking, thinking of Triss, because Triss would like just jump on you, and then um, Sona would come in. Which, that's really good. Ash and Sona, just the compound, uh, is yeah. just ridiculous with their CC. But now we then got Mundo, Mundo and Jarvan yeah. on the board, right over here. Yeah, Jarvan. We've seen him earlier. He, I don't know. If, I'm not sure if this is the going to be the same player playing him, but the last Jarvan has was very good with Jarvan. He was uh, the jungler last time I was sure, but Jarvan all around is a really good is a really good champion to pick. You know, Jarvan's be going a top. really a deceptive pick because um, not too many people pick Jarvan top yes. anymore. Uh, he's been getting him a little bit more popular in the past uh, couple months. Um, he's just uh, shocking most top lanes. I don't know how to deal with him just because he doesn't get dealt with that much. Um, and then the Mundo, that's a great pick, but it's a farm, more of a farming jungle pick. And then he gets critical mass, and Mundo goes where he pleases after. Yeah, and then we got, uh, they're going no AP, they're going, uh, maybe we're going to have see Cho'Gath go AP top, and Talon go mid just to counter the regular mid. I wonder who they're going to pick against uh, Talon. Uh, AP is like Oriana, uh, holds her own against Talon pretty well. Um, interesting to see who they're going to pick for their AP. Yeah, that is a... Uh, or War Warwick. I don't know I'm how not sure if Warwick this. Be this is very AP. unusual, like Cho and Talon. That's very interesting. Yep. That's awesome. Cho Gath is probably going to go Rod of Ages and just go like Death Cap or something. Just get a lot of AP. Because Cho Gath with his alt, if he combos someone and use, uh, she can, uh, he can oh. instantly kill somebody. And they're going to go Rumble. Rumble. Rumble mid is, would actually be really good against the Talon. If that's where, if that's where Talon's going. Or... Oh, they're oh, going to they're going rise. rise. Uh, I guess when Talon gets on him, he wants to get that little, that bind off. Now, it, right now, uh, Rise has um, just got a recent nerf. Uh, some people think he's not as Rise big anymore, but he definitely is a force. Uh, we'll see if he possibly can uh, shut down this Talon, or the Talon will shut him down. Yeah, people uh, still build Rise the exact same way, and they do the exact same things, but just not quite as good as it was, especially because the rework on his alt. And uh, more scaling off AP on his on his his bouncing one. So uh, let's called. think about uh, team fights right now. So uh, we got on the Ash side, uh, Ash Arrow, 
uh, Sana Engage with her uh, big alt, uh, and then Warwick Press from Warwick, Knock Up and Silence and Cho, and then you know Talon's the alt, and, and he had, Talon has a lot of AOE yeah, burst. He has an instant anger disperse, which yep. means he just goes and vis unless they have oracles, I'm and uh, he totally takes off aggro of getting in damage. I'm surprised that Morgana wasn't picked by either team because usually she's banned every time, and she just that wasn't. Is true. I don't think uh, most teams realize that. <laughs> yeah, they didn't ban Morgana. And um, they're just like, oh, who didn't? Who doesn't ban Morgana? She's just a standard ban. <laughs> yeah, because her, she may be easy, uh, She can be countered in her lane, of course, just like anyone can. But the mount, her her alt late game is so good. And then you put your pool under them, and if someone's running away, you can snap them with your Q. She's and like spell shield is so good. That is true. Um, so for the other team, they got the Leona alt, uh, Gray's AOE damage, uh, Mundo... He their engage is going to be Leona and yeah. Jarvan, but definitely. The, yeah, the Jarvan is going to be a nice engage, and, and the Rise will just sit back, and he'll just machine yeah. gun them down. And, uh, yeah, Leona will be able to keep them off uh, uh, Jar uh, Sorry, Graves really effectively. And Mundo, he's really good for just bullying the AD carry out of a, out of a fight so quick as... Uncontested, like, especially when he's grabbing exhaust. If he just goes in on the ash, exhausts her, cleaves her, uh, uses her uh, burning agony and stuff, he can just take down an AD carry so quickly. Yeah. Mundo's a really good pick to be in the front of the battle. You know, you don't want to focus him unless you have ignites. At least the t other team has two ignites going on. Uh, Mundo is really good in a team because he, c you, if you're a whole team, you can kind of disengage with his uh, cleaver. It's a really powerful ability. Yeah, and, and it's really good for ganking too because it's out of nowhere you're slowed and you're wondering where that's coming from then Mundo bursts out of nowhere it's definitely hard to get away again. from Mundo that's for sure if he gets at the right angle on you but um, um, we so we got still an, uh, another minute and 30 seconds um, you know I, I just can't wait to see the Ash and the Sauna plays bottom if there is yep. good follow up with the, the Warwick Suppress it, they can pull off some excellent plays um, Leona, Graves, kill lane, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's really powerful. Um, you know, Ash and uh, Sana really will have to worry from level 1 to 5. Yeah. And after that, As um, soon as Leona, if Leona gets to level 6, same with Graves, that gives him a lot of damage from Graves' ult and a lot of stun and slow from, a lot of CC, I should say, from Leona. Plus, then after that, she goes and stuns you again and again. Talk about top lane. So Cho, uh, Cho'Grath against uh, Jarvan. You know, uh, do you think Jarvan will be able to kill Cho or uh, just no? Stay back I don't think. I think uh, Cho will just go like, I'm, I'm gonna go tanky, and he's not gonna be able to touch me. I don't, I'm just gonna have free farm. Well, Jarvan's gonna have. A, I think if that is the lane, I think Jarvan's might have a little bit of a harder time because he won't get as tanky as Cho will uh, as soon uh, that fast. Uh, but what about uh, kill, level six? Ganks? I don't. I don't think there's gonna be any ganks. I mean, kills really one on one. Unless unless he goes like all AP items and just like combo someone. Uh, gank wise, Cho'Gath is really good for just ganks with uh, the rupture and then silencing scream. Yeah, that is yeah. true. But uh, it is the rupture that's the, the make or break for Yes, Cho. it is the make or break. If you can land it, you'll do great. Especially if Cho gets level 6, same with Warwick because the knock up silence and then Warwick comes out and alts and then Cho'Gath alts and that's a lot of guaranteed damage uh, that's almost an instant that's pretty much an instant kill yeah um, Warwick a very tremendous force now if um, the other jungler is uh, smart the Mundo you know you can do some early counter jungle against Warwick Warwick's not a good duelist uh, in the first five levels until he gets his godlike six but if Mundo can do some work and set his six back as far as possible, you know, that would be awesome. As Maybe try to get him to turn six at about um, so maybe eight minutes or nine minutes in the game, which is awesome. Yeah. All right. So we're, we're starting up. We'll see what the buys are going on. Uh, Warwick starting off with Longsword and Health Pots. I haven't seen that in a very long time. Uh, the one t uh, purple team going like all Boots, pots, with around three of them. Uh, uh, Mundo is going cloth five, and Leona is going standard uh, fairy charm, four wards, one pot. Uh, I'm wondering to see if who anyone will be invading. That's kind of. Uh, I haven't really seen a really good. In no team has really invaded. Oh really? There was your your. No one's invaded except for last game when you played, but you guys pulled out instead of taking the blue. 
Yeah, definitely. Um, that longsword, uh, one pot. Yeah, Warwick's one of the few characters other than uh, possibly Nocturne, if you uh, spec him right. Uh, can take a longsword and one health pot, and he's just healthy. Uh, it's really good at just clearing uh, your mobs really fast and trying to get that level six as fast as possible. Yeah, Rise is pretty. Uh, their team is pretty lucky that Blue wasn't. I mean, that Blue team wasn't going to be invading because Rise is in a is should should be in this area in this brush. Just to make sure there's no ganks coming, because if they were invading, they'd get all the way around, and then come around and they just kill. You know, uh, Ryza's position is not totally bad because um, it, it allows him to see uh, people transitioning from here to here to gank, um, and that's all they want to see. Yet again, um, most people don't go through here to go up to the bush. Always oh, meaning in here. You got a ping. Oh, okay. I, I, I didn't actually ping properly. Sorry, uh, folks, I wasn't able to show you guys exactly what I was talking, talking about. talking about this area in here. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, uh, Mundo is just going to go for straight for the red. And oh, we're going to be seeing definitely some early gangster Mundo. That's going to be awesome. Uh, Warwick just going to blue. He's just going to do a standard route. Uh... Bottom lane, we haven't. We've only seen the one team. We've only seen TEG do the double golems, and that oh, helped him in the lane. Health, thank you. Yeah. He's already. He's already popping a health pot and giving him advantage. And no, Mundo's he going to, top he right now. Popped a health pot quite no. yet. Uh, oh, yeah. now he just did. Uh, Mundo's going top. There is a gang coming. Um, if he gets hit with that cleaver, he, he is being really aggressive. I'm gonna see you at the follow up on Jarvan. It's all Jarvan's head right now. You know, just get get that pop. That's up. oh, that's he should win right there. He just used. Oh, that there we go. There we go. There, there it comes. There's the exhaust. There's a flash. There's the cleaver, and he did hit. That is gonna burn, uh, a flash, which will make it really easy for him to get ganks. You know, uh, Jarvan definitely can follow up with the kill, possibly. Oh, there's three damage on uh, Sana. Sana's trying to bully uh, Graves out of the lane already. Yeah, Graves got even lower than he was before. He's taking a lot of damage. Uh, Talon, w mid I see Talon. Uh, if Rise can stay. Here's the thing about Talon, he's really annoying when he just silences and jumps on you. As long as you can somehow dodge the rake, that's what a lot of Talon's max, and then you uh, then you don't take like a lot of damage. Oh. And top where he got a bush gang going again, he's trying to focus that show, he doesn't want him to get big. Uh, he's coming through to the second, oh, not yet. He waited to the perfect oh, time to go. do that. And they don't see. Um, just that Garen's been playing, I mean Jarvan's been playing so aggressive that Cho really doesn't have the chance and uh, he hasn't really been able to get up and he hasn't really got the confidence to go up yet. Bottom is still bowling, um, you know Graves and uh, Leonardo are sort of kind of behind, they don't have the sustain and uh, Mundo's just going to back, he knows that the lane is just too far pushed and there's nothing he can do. Yeah and he doesn't want to fall, he doesn't want to fall and that far behind. that is kind of bad, you know he's already behind, Warwick is just farming and nothing has happened, there's no first blood, Warwick is level 4 double buff, he can do a, definitely a gank. And Mundo is, isn't even halfway through, through uh, he's, he's only halfway through level 3. And he's coming down to bottom most likely for a bush gank. He just wants to get that kill or he's just going straight to his blue. He's going to go, he's going to go for the kill actually. If this doesn't work, he's going to be, he's going to be so much further behind that uh, Warwick. Yeah. Oh. And that will be very bad for him. For Let's see what's uh, going there on. Is there is the ward there oh. so they do know what's coming. Graves is at a quarter health. The cleaver miss. They're falling back. They yeah. Know. Good that was game. a nice ward placement. They did see it uh, from a long ways away. Talon is uh, at low health. He's going back. Rise is already ahead. That is Warwick not is going to actually come, oh. trying to come, going to come and try to solo him. Yeah, he's just trying to push. He's him just out going of to lane. get binded and then queued or not. Just getting some of that free XP, but that is yeah. good for Warwick. It allows him to get six quicker, which means Talon him can get some plays going on. Yeah. Excuse me. Like he's he's almost level five and. Mundo is not even, not really close to level uh, four yet. He's still below half. Graves still a quarter health. There is no sustain, and Blue goes to rise, um, and uh, he's going to be going back to go get some, uh, go get some goodies. This would be a really good time to start ganking top lane. The lane is pushing. He's being pretty aggressive, and there he has no wards yet to place. He is checking around. 
Yeah, um, t yeah, top lane is just going to be a farm lane at this point, and Jarvan's definitely yeah. losing last hits. He's both of them, CS both of them aren't, don't really have the damage really to kill each other. So unless AP, um, unless Cho gets a lot of AP at this point, uh, uh, in Mundo's mind, he's just trying to catch up right now. He he has wasted a lot of time, about three times trying to gig, and nothing successful. Not even uh, successful like um, lowering someone's health. Uh, Leona Graves coming back out. They got some items. Um, Graves just got uh, uh, some boots, some pots, and uh, a ward. And Leona, he got the Dorance blade. Just got boots. Uh, did it was a Dorance blade? Yeah, it was. A do boots? It was I, uh, yeah, he, yeah, did. he yeah. started boots. Yeah, he got he had the pots Dorans in the beginning. Ward. Yeah, oh, there's the gang top. Oh, there's a cleaver, and he's going. There's, there's, an the, exhaust. there's the exhaust. The oh, flash will not. Yeah, but they are first blood. First top. blood. The successful gang. Mundo. Thank you for catching that. that. And that was an yes. Awesome Mundo play. really needed that to, to catch up to the Warwick, who's almost level six. Yeah, Warwick. very close to level six. His oh. ganks will be very good right yeah, away. He's going back. He's gonna go get Wraith, and he's gonna be level six. If he ganks mid, he gets that alt. Mid is gonna die so quickly. So bottom lane is a little uh, a little bit ahead against uh, the Graves and Leona, just because there was no sustain, and that was the only reason. And we're they're gonna see if they're gonna make some plays. They are getting zoned. Double warded the bottom yeah. rush mistake. Oh, uh, they both warded it. Wow. Uh, I don't know if there's much communication between the two, but uh, maybe uh, they just got a little bit shaken up from uh, the early engages. And there's a oh, slow and there's, there's the, uh, a bit of damage going on there. Just some poking going on. And zo and Ryze is just zoning Talon mid. And Talon is just getting... Uh, he needs some ganks. Yeah, I think he's just... Call oh, and Warwick is just waiting aimlessly. There's a blue. ping into the uh, brush right here for... Uh, in the tri bush for oh, Mundo going in there. So he's going to... I don't know sure if he's going to try to if he's going to try to oh, wait. oh he's he just warded. just doing the wards yeah and Warwick's and they're going to do a, a five player bottom gank they're, which they're doing an early dragon right now oh no it's oh they're awesome. dragon awesome I don't know if it's warded it's not warded they have no Ash, idea Ash and Sana. they might have been oh, able to Sana's catch him right here face check right now yeah they oh. might have been able to barely dragon catch him down I think that. they barely caught sight of him right there they do you know, the purple team definitely needed that. That was just a perfect um, all-around play. Cho didn't even know. He was just passively uh, farming top. Nothing got, you know, blue team got nothing out of it. Um, yeah. If they would have been able to see it, he would have been like, okay, he's way bottom. I can just push my lane super hard. Yeah. And he wasn't able to get that sight because he didn't have a dragon ward. Warwick's, Warwick 6, you know, I know he's vibrating. He wants to use that ult. He wants to get some uh, get some plays going. Uh, with level 6 Ash bottom and Sauna being just level 5 turning 6 soon, you know, we're going to see an awesome play down here. Yeah. Um, with, uh, I think what the mistake was there was that they put the... Oh, they, they have sight. They know that that Garrett... There's, there's the engage. And the Warwick all he, he, do, he still does go on to oh, Graves, no Graves gets really low, and Ash, oh, Graves, got Graves, Graves flash, oh, and she oh, gets the kill, flash. but she's going to take a lot of damage, or she's going to get away for that free, and they could very play. well do it again. Uh, Warwick has a lot of health, and as long as he initiates, they can do a lot of damage on the on this Leona. They're just definitely, uh, most likely, oh, they're backing out, yep, that was a good play, you know, no one died, oh, that was just fantastic, and I was glad to see that. They uh, could have... Honestly, they could have went and <laughs> it got to the Leona after there's still a huge minion wave and she's very weak as well. She has, she actually, she has a good amount of AP, uh, no, no, sorry, not AP, MR and armor. So Mindo's 6 now, we're going to see him gonna be uh, making some plays. Oh, they're mid, oh, uh, Ryze got some Unite and he gets a oh. kill on Talon and barely gets away. Oh, Sorry no, about that, awesome I missed play. that. No, uh, I caught the, I caught the death of Talon, but it's okay, we should have oh, Jarvan's in initiating on, uh, to, uh, Cho'Gath and taking him just below half health, and he is forced to pot. And Mundo's going for us uh, in a little bit of counter jungling against uh, Warwick. There's the ult because the, mi oh, the mi oh, 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 there is the silent. He silenced him and got out, so we couldn't cancel that ult. That was a, that's actually really smart. That was a very uh, high clutch play in my words, uh, right there. Yes, that was a wonderful Cho. He didn't get too low. His health pot's getting him back up, so he doesn't need to leave lane. And Mundo's I oh, just gonna go back to his jungle. Yeah. He's just trying to catch up. That Warwick is ahead. He's level 7 and double buffed. Um, yeah, Ash got that kill. She went triple Dorans and she has one boots and she actually has a vision ward triple herself. Triple Dorans? He, they just want to snowball their lanes so hard at this point. They want to yeah, rock. And then there's, there's the engage again onto Cho'Gath. Sorry about oh. that. And he is going, he has to back now. And Warwick's just doing some coverage. You know, that's not a bad for, uh, thing that Warwick yeah. uh, is getting a little bit of farm. You know, He's still ahead of Mundo by quite a bit. 
So middle, does uh, rise. Uh, what? Uh, he's building a glacial. He has a glacial shroud already. That is devastating yeah. for Talon. That yes. counters him so hard. Gives so that gives you. It gives him a good enough amount of mana, which gives him AP, and then it gives him the armor uh, that would completely. And he also has another cloth armor. He is just completely able to shut down the Talon at this point. He has 109 armor already. Uh, Sigmundo's just going in for uh, some little bit of counter jungling. He knows. And um, here comes that Warwick gank bit. Yes, yeah, so well, Warwick is coming in. He's waiting for Rise to Let's push out. And then actually, oh, I was hoping for Mundo to come. I like to see those double gank fights. And then bottom, they're just doing a little bit of work down there. They're doing a little bit of harass. All right, there's nothing going on. Warwick is just camping there. He is a little bit ahead, so he can just uh, waste time. Well, Mundo, you know, he's just he's just rocking his jungle. Oh, they're maybe going to make a play for blue, or possibly they got Dragon Warded. We'll see. Or they're going to make a big play. No, they're going to make a big play bottom. They're going to follow up with Ash, Arrow, and Sano. But the thing is, they have that warded. Oh, we're going to see what's going to go on. Uh, and Mundo but the thing is, the, the Mundo and Rise should be moving, maneuvering down there. Oh. Or Rise just... Warbrick going for a peek. This is going to be a nice play right going here. Going for a ward. He's going Warbrick's going to get caught. Or he almost got Just caught right there. Range. Don't know if they're going to pop any summoners to get to him. Nope. No, they're not. They're just going to let it go. Warwick baits. Too strong. <laughs> so Jarvan right now really, uh, is effectively out farming that Ch Cho'Gath really well. And he has that phage and two... Uh, fan uh, no, sorry. He has two... Okay, he has a phage and then the two torrents and he's pretty far ahead of that show back at this point. He only has boots, boss, and a ruby crystal. You know, uh, this Mundo is doing a very good job. You know, there's not too much happening, which is not good for blue team. Honestly, they should be following up with Sun Alt, Ash Alt, and, and Warwick Alt. They need to be abusing those alts, but yes. they're not. And, War and what Mundo is, is just farming, and he has GP5 items. He's only going to get bigger from now on, and that is not good for the blue team. Oh, and there's oh, top. Oh, uh, Jarvan gets a kill. I can't believe I missed gets that. a high clutch play, but... I gotta watch top more. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, doing the camera control. Sorry guys for missing that out. Uh, we didn't know. Uh, Warwick is going to be going to the blue donut. I don't know if he's going to give it to Talon to try to help him out against this rise. You know, it's a little bit of a poke battle. Uh, Graves ate a lot more damage than the Sona did, especially with that heal from Sona as well. And that Graves is forced to pot. Ta Talon is definitely behind in farm, but he is not uh, horribly behind. He still has a chance, but he needs ganks. He needs uh, yes. a little bit of intervention into his lane to catch up. And it doesn't seem like that's happening anytime soon. Warwick has not been abusing his ult at like, all. The, the ganks from his ult are just so good. And the good thing about having a... Oh, bottom. Oh there that uh, Graves okay. going and Graves... Uh, and then there's a little late for Ash the Ash Ash and is Ash gonna get away, away from that. You know, that was the best case scenario that they got the support and Ash is gonna still be up. And they're gonna go for a dragon, uh, yet again. That's another free dragon. You know, they, they, uh, the they do have a ward, it's like... Uh, it seems like they're aware of it, but they, just because they're one kill down, uh, it is just the support, there's a possibility... Yeah, and Cho'Gath is at top without TP. Oh no, uh, that is just horrible. Rise is... Uh, yep, and then they're just gonna get free dragon, not contest. Not much they can do. Yeah, and they they're getting ahead. They're oh, Talon putting both. himself Talon. in a very dangerous position. Oh no, Talon's getting followed up. Oh, he ults away. Oh, oh, there's follow up. Oh, oh Leo gets a good, good snare, and then there's good follow up by Rise. Oh, that was wonderful to watch. I was. And then the, they're just gonna push mid now, which is very smart. You know, all, all of them are there. Uh, he has uh. Esquire has know, to go and, up and, and deal with that Cho'Gath, he just want to lose that tower. He's farming some wraiths right there. I wonder if he could have used a little bit of... He could have helped out there. That's, oh, way, that's, too late. that's, that's way too late. That's way too That was very bad, uh, and that's another free kill. Cho'Gath Cho almost point. got that top turret, which you need, he needed that to try to trade even. Now they got, now they got a free dragon and a free, free turret. No, and two free kills uh, as well. Yes, and two free... Absolutely you know, free would, kills. Uh, they were panicking, you know, Talon was out of- he could have backed out, he didn't need, need to do that minimal damage to Rise, and they're gonna do a gank top. Cho is so yeah. in trouble right now. <laughs> yeah. There's this- Oh, there's the ult in the all the ult, they're all the ult. Cho had no chance. No, no <laughs> he just got uh, Poor Cho. <laughs> <laughs> Only if he was a gentleman. Yeah. Ash is getting a red buff. I'm gonna see and if there's gonna stop. get some follow-up plays by Blue. Blue is down by two turrets now, and we don't even have one turret. Barely a sliver on top. Oh, there's maybe going to be another play. This They're checking seven, for blue. 7k gold lead, which is 
pretty big at this at 15 minutes in the game. Blue still has a chance, but they just need yes. to group up. They, they need to uh, catch they, people right now. Know, their sauna alt with their ash alt with their Warwick suppressed. If you catch someone, it's free kill. They gotta they gotta capitalize on this. So Warwick has wriggles at this point. Um, nothing really built on Cho'Gath right now. Just in a very even build. Just some GP. Excuse me. Um, Talon really doesn't have too much. She's trying to build a Brutalizer, it seems, at this point. Bray's really big. He has a, a BF sword, two Dorans, you know. He's much, uh, he's much bigger at Ash at this point because she went to triple Dorans. She's not, she maybe is going to get Pekax in her next back, but right now she doesn't have enough money. And Mundo just getting bigger. I, I wonder if he's saving up for a big purchase. He's had the Wriggles, uh, the, the Madreds, and the GP5 for quite a while. Yeah. Uh, Leona, Leona is just Leona. clearing. Yeah, she's clearing that ward, keeping them from having sight there. Grace actually almost soloing. Another G. He flashed out, and there's two uh, wow, stalled uns that missed. Well, and Grace is getting extremely low. He has to be summers. careful. You know that they, if Graves hit that, there was a big. If he would have yeah, hit that by Sun he would have died. You know that Ash? Wow, he, that was a very good high clutch play. Way to anticipate that all. Yes. Most likely a very Perfect. good Ash uh, Graves player knows what that Graves is thinking. Oh, there's the ghost. Warwick is going in. We're gonna see if he's gonna get the kill. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, oh. No. Leona has too much CC for that. And Talon, he's just—he just wants to do something. <laughs> you just see him want running. He wants to do an engage. Yeah, he wants to use that all. He wa but he knows that rise is just. Oh, he just actually bigger. could steal this blue. Wow, this is gonna be. <laughs> he nice. did. He stole that with the slight play by Warwick going in, trying to make things work. That's lack. That's because of lack of communication from Rise not coming down quick enough to take that blue buff. <laughs> Mundo just uh, looks like he's just angry. Any jungler is just choked up when that happens. <laughs> you know, you don't, you're, you get lazy. You don't pull that, uh, you know, buff into the bush, and they get a free, uh, get a free smite. And Jarvan's just getting a lot of free farm top. He's out. He's he has most farm in the game with 127. Wow, and that Cho only has 60. Like it's double. Wow, Cho, and Cho's just not big enough. Look, he is a very small Cho at this point. He's small, and he just doesn't have the farm to be Cho big. And he doesn't have he doesn't have stacks right now. There's some pinging going down over in the area for the blue side. I don't know if they want to make some work. They want to catch someone, maybe in the jungle. Doesn't seem like they're very organized. They don't know what they want to do. They're gonna try to. They're gonna try to. They're probably gonna try something here. You know, and it seems like Jarvan knows there's something fishy. Then that's yeah. why he's in, in mid, just covering. At this point, when Mundo, yes, I, I was just about to say, when Mundo sees all these people mid, he should just try to back. He just try to back door, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's gonna try to pull somebody over here, uh, over here into the top lane, so they can do an engage on top of that Warwick. Who is the Warwick? Is like very extended right now. Mundo is pinging at their blue to see if they want to do it. Um, also, I, I just to point out that uh, Mundo has Aegis, so that's really good for his team. Um, he's, you know, he's being a very big team player at this point. Yep. <laughs> and that, the blue is going to um, the Cho. Actually, really smart idea. You're yeah. giving Cho blue. He can spam. He can silence. You know, he can push. Yeah, just as expected, the Cho will, the Cho going to ship that R the rod of Aegis. He is Cho is starting to get his stacks now, which he really needs. He definitely needs to get bigger. He needs he needs to get his CS yeah. up. He needs some more gold. He yeah. Need, uh, he right now he only has a blast. He he doesn't have anything built at this point. He just yep. has pieces, and that's just not enough. Yeah. Even finishing the catalyst before getting the blast one would have been a lot better, just because that gives you a good amount of health, uh, mana, and every time you level, you get a you get that buff from for extra mana and health regen. Not all too much happening right now. It seems like they're just uh, waiting for that next dragon. No one, everyone knows that they can't do Baron at this point. Um, purple team's in an awesome position because they, she, Leona's just been walking around clearing wards and being a very happy support, saying, "Well, oh, just paid back my oracles. Not a big deal if I buy another one now." Just the map control that they have. Oh, there's a gank coming oh. bottom. It is, oh. it is unwar. Uh, it is unwarded. Oh no, destroyed. they timed uh, the dragon. They are going to come in. The, the dragon just spawned and they're going to clear that ward and they're probably going to start. The rise it. is already back and yeah, Jarvan's back. The at Jarvan's this point. back and the rise is on his way. So yeah, they're going to be able to get a free dragon. And there's a free damage going down bottom. Ash is just trying to follow up, trying to do some free damage to Graves at this point. Uh, they're doing uh, dragon. Graves is in a lot of trouble. Uh, he yeah. is going to heal and get away. Purple's just doing the dragon. Yeah. Uh, they know that Graves is still alive. Oh, there's going to be the intervening. They're mostly going to get in and try to do a team fight. We're going to see the follow up. Luna has a. 
Leona should be locking down these no, people. You know, that the she's the, the, the Leona. Yeah, the and there's the Ash. all the ashes. Ash is Ash gonna is die really down. quickly. Chogath is coming from the top. Doing enough damage to rise at this point. Rise flashes out. Oh, Graves as alt. Graves. Oh, and blue team is almost getting a Sean is just trying to get away at this point. Leona just missed. Uh, she most likely is gonna get away with her speed boost. Oh, the flash. flash is for oh, the, for there's the a knock up, and there is gonna be the ace That's right the ace. there. That and is they're a gonna good get, play. They can get an inhibitor or. Our Baron. They're gonna, is they're exactly gonna push what purple wanted. They wanted that engage. Yeah, I and don't they're gonna push bottom too as well, which is really good. They're gonna get, you know, good play by them. They're like, if you want to kill Graves, we're gonna get Dragon, so it's not a big deal. But and uh, Blue just Blue didn't seem like they know what to, what to do. I know that um, Warwick was trying to focus that Rise, but Rise is just too big right now. He has he has armor and. It, it doesn't a war just doesn't do enough damage as a jungler to him. So there is almost almost a 10k difference between them. Don't know what blue's going to do. Team's turret has been destroyed. They still have a chance of coming back if they do successful catches. Oh, there's an ash arrow and it completely missed Graves and Graves is just running away. Yeah, pretty big lead right now. Uh, is that two free dragons? Uh, a lot of free towers. I think it was three. And it was one three to free dragons it's one to point. twelve right now. Red is pretty far ahead at this point. Yeah, and a lot of the kills. kills. Four kills went to Graves, which is going to help it a lot. And four went to Rise. Or two carries are going to have a lot. And yeah, and Mundo got a little bit of gold, and that is just not good. Uh, I don't know about the Mundo build at this point. Like a, a, a Wriggles on Mundo is not needed. He does so much damage, and he, his AOE clear is so much that he's actually one of the jungles out there that absolutely doesn't need Wriggles at uh, just to clear his jungle. I'm very uh, just interested why he uh, builds Wriggles at that point, but that's just my two cents. Quicker <laughs> dragons, maybe. So I don't know if they're going to do an early Baron blue side. They're getting desperate um, at this point. And it, uh, they don't. I think they pinked it. No, was that a ping? No, oh, where? no they were just warding yeah. Baron at that point. Yeah. Uh, that actually, that wriggle has actually helped out with those quick dragons as well. That those is two. true. That, that, that could have been why he went wriggles. You know what? That is, that is a very good. Uh, that is very true. Um, getting a quick, uh, getting a Baron uh, dragon down as fast as possible. It seems like they were on top of it. Their team normally gets early Jar dragons. Sorry to cut you off. Jarvan's in the jungle, and if he's not careful, he's going to get caught. Oh, he's fine. Never mind. He's going to be able to push <laughs> that lane back. They just don't have wards at this point. Yeah. I don't think they actually knew that Jarvan was doing sneaky double golems. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> they, they seen it because he went, he went through right here. Oh, did he? Yeah, he went, he went, he went this way, so they would have seen it because the minions went and they didn't past at the same up. time. Mm. Yeah, they didn't follow up on that. And there is a ward there, so they do see the Cho in that brush. And that brush going, because he, he went in there. And they see the, the rest of them here. And Jarvan's on his way up for uh, for a team engagement. Oh, There's a little bit of poke. Ry and Ryze has a Banshee's Anti-Glacial Shroud. There is n you're not going to get him down. He no, is he, is, he is so tanky. And all of... Because they went no AP. All of them just go like, okay, I'll stack oh, armor. There is, uh, and there's the engage. Warwick taking a lot of damage, getting just below a half. But out of anybody, it's good that he took the damage because of his lifesteal. Um, yeah. You know, they know they have to fall back. They can't fight them. They're way too big at this point. Uh, Blue doing a good job of just falling back. And, and they're just going to go for the Baron. You know, yeah, they got the Oracles. They, they got the wards. At We're gonna Leona see didn't set put the wards in the far brush, or they didn't. They need. They should be throwing a ward in this area, or yeah. again, in right in here, just so they know. Yeah, they're just sweeping or at this point, yeah. and Blue Team's coming up. Oh, that is a perfect engage. Not going. Uh, uh, Jarvan's all the way at top, taking on that farm. Oh, wow. If they see that, they should capitalize that. Oh, yes, they do see it. They Ash should be capitalizing on that right now. Vision. And they're, they're just backing out uh, at this point. You know, and that, that is good on them. Just get that blue, secure that blue. You know, if they want to burn, they totally need to engage on this. It is their only, um, majority of the time, it's their only chance of coming back is if they derp. But at this point, you know, they're just doing the bait. A lot of wasted, uh, there's kind of, I would say, uh -oh, two. Oh, Warwick's maybe going to get caught here. There's maybe going to be the fall up. There's, oh, there's the Graves. There's the Leona stun. The and then oh, Warwick oh, is just, I don't know the, the Graves ult misses. And there's oh, a nice no. snipe. <laughs> nice, nice snipe off and a nice kill steal by Jarvan. And that now that there's 5v4, they can just get a free Baron now. Because he got overconfident and he, he overextended and died. And this is horrible the price. for Blue. They don't know what to do. They're jungle they need, they they need to engage swipe. on this with Talon's AoE. They need to get the AoE in there. And then they need to do it now before that Baron gets even lower. 
you know, they don't have smites, so they're totally gonna they get They need to jump in there. So there's no jump in on Cho. There's they have no choice in Ash. Ash. Now Ash is going down. She flashes out. Yeah, there's uh, no Ash. Just got uh, down. Cho, Cho Sona is well. getting chased down, and that's the only one who is low at this point. And that's pretty great. much, I would say that's and Sona, this game. She's just trying to get away. No. Oh, no. Oh. Kill for the win. And there is the ace again. Oh, they're gonna probably go just tank this turret down down here and just take it out. Do you know what? They very well could, but they're only going to get a hit, but I don't, you know, does Jarvan have much armor? Yeah, Jarvan does have quite a bit of armor. Uh, I thought he was building armor. Yeah, he's going down quite fast. They're going to get a hit. I don't think they actually can win off this. Oh, no, no, they can't. But they're they're really far ahead right now. They definitely and will be able to push uh, the two towers on each side. That's they just should be back up, heal. Wait for those to push again, take their buffs, take the farm in the jungles, push the lanes, and then do a try to get a winning push in, in the mid lane. The, what they should do right now is just go for that dragon. And Ash just got an infinite edge. She just sold her one of her Darn's blades to get that infinite edge. Maybe that'll help out a little bit to get some a little bit of DPS out. But she's been getting focused so hard, she's been getting no yes. auto attacks on them. And they are just going to pick up this free uh, dragon as well. Oh, uh, yeah. That's nah, going down. That just compounds. Like. Uh, the, the gold ratio right now is about f almost 16k ahead. Yeah. At this point, purple really needs to get aced to for in order for blue to get caught up. Yeah, and by to do that, they need to be able to catch people very well. And at this point, you know, Cho is not big enough. He's died five times, and Mundo, you know, he he just only gets bigger at this point. I'm surprised he still has one boots, and he's level 14 at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just knows that his when he's alts on, he just moves super fast. Yeah. You know. You know. Blue side most likely just has absolutely no vision. You know, Leona has that, have been having that oracles and been taking those wards systematically out for the past, you know, a good 10 minutes at least. And that's just horrible for Blue. They have no vision. They don't know where it's safe. You know, <laughs> and they're just collapsing at this point. Purple's just going to be able to take anything. Now, I don't know why they haven't pushed top and bottom. Is They're just about to push bottom. Maybe they're going to be making a play down there. They are pinging their blue buff, and then they're probably gonna go push. And the red buff's up for Mundo or for Ash. I mean, for Graves. At this point, uh, Cho just uh, he finished our rod of oh, ages. Oh, oh, Warwick could have got caught right there, but there is Talon and uh, there is only three of them. They have no idea there's only three of them. You know, uh, yeah, there Cho is. Cho gets way at base. Shogath is coming back. He's trying to get bigger. He's trying to get some armor. He has some. Uh, oh, uh, there's the Shrillius pop. They're going to try to catch him. Oh, 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 oh Ash, Ash is, is dead. Totally instant kill. Uh, instantly killed. Yeah, she was just saying, "Kill me, kill yeah. me." You know, that and was Gray, a perfect. Uh, Graves is chasing S Sona, but has to back up because there's. F or she's going to run into the four of them. That was a perfect oh, execution is. of Shrillius. You know. Yes, they that saw was. That, you Such know, good Shrillius. They just jumped on it. And that Leona gang too. I mean, that Leona all. Yeah. When you have a free meal right in front of you, you just go and take it. Yeah. No, you, you have to. Never pass up a free meal. And at this point, Purple is just. They know that the, they, their follow up is not going to be punishing it in any way. Yeah. Nice rupture by Cho. Cho is just trying to do stuff. Uh, flash himself. out of the all the all oh, missing everybody. He is already down. I don't know if he's going to be bad. Definitely going to get this in hip. Oh, and Cho gets just barely away with no help. Graves overextending. He's getting bursted down. Warwick gets bursted down totally by all Tony everyone. Tony is to escape. And at this point, point, it's... Oh, wow. That, that ride is damage. just tearing <laughs> them apart. And one more turret. Oh. And then there's super minions in here too. Cho is just trying to do something. He's trying to make Graves a Graves almost goes down himself and then Cho does Cho die. And fallen. that Graves just oh, does this. And Ash is down again. Yeah. Ash Graves is getting hunted down by Talon. <laughs> and he's... Oh, he, he, <laughs> Go, he got stuck on the turret. Oh no, he got, he, pathing so bad. He there pathing, is, well, oh, just alongside the, tur the turret here and uh, got uh, slowed you know, here. He couldn't get the kill because... Of and that's game. Uh, yeah, that <laughs> is game. Purple takes it. Good and, job. Uh, you know, Well-deserved win. Uh, there's the... It was just there's the gank on the summer platform. Systematic, you know, victories. There was no comeback for blue, unfortunately. Yeah. I was trying to wish that they would uh, use their sauna alts, their ash arrow, their yeah. suppress properly. They had, they had a lot of engage they themselves. Did, they did not capitalize on yep. what their comp was going for, unfortunately. You know, uh, good game. That was fun. Yeah. I I think that may be it for t 
today. I think we have one more game maybe to do. Yeah. Um, I, uh, we don't know for sure, but yep. yeah. Thanks for coming out for OKG guy uh, to OKG guys and yep. participating and, and playing. It's been a good set of games. Some very competitive teams, um, and there's been a, a lot of surprises today and yep. a lot of good players. A lot of comebacks. A lot of comebacks today. And that big penta kill, you know. Yeah, got, got, got the penta kill. And there's a quadra and uh, some other teams. On at, that was that was on your team. Yeah. So Tristana. Uh, yeah, that Tristana almost got the got the quad. Quadra, almost two quadras in one tourney. I don't know how rare that is. <laughs> I mean, Pentas. Anyways, um, uh, just logging off for this game. I'm Tyler Stoffer and Nathan. Just logging off and go for mostly the next game.